The consumption function is the relationship between consumption and disposable income. Consumption is the purchase of goods and services by households, while disposable income is income remaining after the deduction of taxes and other mandatory expenses. Disposable income also includes government transfers, which households can save or spend. The consumption function is represented by an equation that models the factors that alter consumer spending. Keynesian economics uses the concept of the consumption function in order to understand the factors that alter consumer spending. This relationship is typically outlined with a graph of the following linear equation. C is equal to A plus MPC, the marginal propensity to consume, times YD, disposable income, where C represents the total consumer spending and A represents the required purchases even without disposable income, such as food and shelter. The marginal propensity to consume, the MPC, is the change in consumer spending that occurs in response to an incremental change in disposable income. Disposable income is represented by YD in the equation. MPC is the slope of the consumption function, and A is the vertical intercept. The equation is a linear equation that expresses consumption as a function of income. MPC is a value between zero and one. Assume a person receives an additional $100 in income. Their only options are to spend it or save that $100. For example, if a consumer has a marginal propensity to consume of 0.75, they would spend $75 and save the other $25. An increase in disposable income will increase consumption, which, in turn, is a reason for an increase in aggregate demand. Another factor that will increase consumption will be the desire to save less. This is essentially an increase in MPC, which increases the slope of the consumption function. If these factors move in opposite directions, it will lead to a decrease in consumption. Marginal propensity to consume is the proportion of the disposable income a consumer decides to spend on consumption rather than savings. In the consumption function, MPC is also viewed as the change in C divided by the change in disposable income. The formula for MPC is delta C divided by delta Y, where delta C is the change in consumption and delta Y is the change in disposable income. If an individual receives a windfall of $100 and spends $60 of it, their marginal propensity to consume is 0.6. MPC is not the same for all consumers. Those with lower disposable incomes spend a higher percentage of their income on consumption than those who make more money. In other words, poor households spend more of their disposable income. The marginal propensity to save, the MPS, is a change in consumer savings that occurs in response to an incremental change in disposable income. A person's desire to save also changes based on income, as well as other factors. The value of MPS must also be between zero and one, and the marginal propensity to consume plus the marginal propensity to save has to equal one because a person will either save or spend the increase in income. If a person has an MPC of one, they will spend all of their disposable income on consumption and will not save any of it. The two terms added together cannot have a larger value than the marginal disposable income. MPS is calculated by dividing the change in savings by the change in income, which is delta S divided by delta Y. If a household earns $50 and saves $20, the marginal propensity to save is 0.4. Savings is dependent on one's level of income and living standards.